So um, the process that I'm going to show you today is something that I've been developing over the past few months. Um, obviously, particularly in, in lockdown, um, creativity has been, it's been really important actually to, um, to hang on to some creativity during these times. Um, there's a process that we do um, where I work at the Arts University Bournemouth. Some of us come together for a creative jam. Um, so there'll be some dancers and some designers and writers and musicians and all sorts of people and we'll come together, we'll be in a room um, and we will respond to each other and it's a really nice way of exploring all of our disciplines and, um, and just developing our work. Um, but obviously in lockdown we couldn't, we couldn't do that in the same way so we started to do that via Zoom. Um, we, and we had cameras all over the place and trying to um, be creative in, in our own studios, in our own homes. Um, and actually, it was a real lifeline. Um, and the difference was, was I had my studio and all of my materials to play with. Um, so I've started to develop this new process, which I've got lots and lots of here to show you. Um, so I, I love to draw, I really love to draw. I love to find little worlds. My background's theatre design, so obviously, um, I, you know, I, I like creating imaginary worlds. Um, this is a, a, an image from a print that I did that I've drawn into to find worlds. Um, I've also, I do a lot of drawing of, of natural things, um, of trees and woodlands and things like that. Um, and so, and, but also during meetings at work, I tend to doodle a lot, I can't stop drawing. Um, so what we've been doing in the jam, I've been responding to dance and music. So um, they start off a bit like this. They're really freeing. They're really, you know, expressive lines and mark making, which is really nice because then when you go back to drawing, actually you start to remember the way that you made those marks. They're really expressive um, and, and fr as I say, freeing. Um, and then after the jam session, so that's usually about an hour, an hour and a half or something, I do loads of drawings and, and create, generate loads and loads and loads of work. Um, I then, Sit and I, I work back into them and that happened because I was in very long Zoom meetings um, at work where they're talking and talking and talking and I can't concentrate like that for hours and I need to be doing something with my hands. Um, so it started um, with this one here um, and I just love to explore and, and look for all of the, the geometry, the lines, um, all the little imaginary worlds that you might find, try and make things pop out. And, and actually, the materials that I used, I got, I got really into using my children's felt tip pens um, and all the fine liners. I dug out all of the pens that I could find around the house um, to play with and, and I really enjoyed making it. So I got a bit obsessed um, and I've done loads and loads more. As you can see, I started working on canvas. This is one here that that I haven't worked into yet. It's kind of a big crazy drawing, but I'm quite looking forward to working into it. I think it's going to be quite dramatic. Um, this one here whoops, is um, in progress. Kind of maybe nearly there, not quite sure yet. I'm not sure I've found its exact moment yet. This was one of the, this was a, a really early one, but I literally, I put my, my music on I've got my headphones on and I spend hours and hours and hours in my studio. They take sort of 12, 24 hours to do. Um, but this one, that's quite a heavy one. There was thicker pens in that and I actually was using a brush to work with that a lot. Um, so yeah, they start. So um, I'm going to show you the process um, of how we'll respond to movement and music. Music is just as important. You can start by watching the dancer and watching the movement and let your lines flow, but also listen to the music and make the marks um, and just enjoy it, get lost in it. Um, so these are initial stages. You can use different materials. I would suggest using free flowing materials. Um, I've got some inks that I really like to use, but you could use some paints, you could use your favourite pens, you could use some charcoal, you could use soft pastels, all sorts of things, but mix it up. Use both hands at the same time sometimes. Um, all sorts of, and, and you know, just enjoy that, enjoy swirls and lines and all of those marks that you can make and be really, really expressive. So the next section, 
I'll be working um, with Millie uh, to create a, a brand new piece to show you um, and show you how it all works. Okay, so wasn't that brilliant to see um, Millie's dancing? She's an incredible dancer and it was such a privilege um, to be able to make marks in response to her movement. Really, really good, so much energy. Um, I'm really excited. So the piece that um, we made, I made, I feel like we made it because um, it was me and Millie working together. You end up in your own little bubble. Um, so this, I have actually, yep, there we go. This is the piece that we've, that came out of that. So it looks like quite a, quite a chaotic piece, but then the magic happens when you start to work back into it, and and you do you you remember you remember the music, you remember the movement, and you start to pick out those lines that felt really important to you, and the shapes and and the kind of mood of the moment. So um, to complete your piece at home, I suggest what I do is I get my headphones on. Um, and I get myself comfortable. I like to work at an easel, but you can equally just work in your sketchbook or on a table, however you want. Find all your favorite pens. Fine liners are really good. Even biros will work. Anything, you know, a white pen is really, really nice to have if you can find a white pen at all. Um, and start working into your drawing. Start finding those lines. Um, I've started a little bit actually on this one here. But you can see here, these are the ones 
that I've really developed further. And they've all got quite a different character actually. Um, and a different, and I actually thought I found some sparkly pens for that one, which is really, really nice. I really enjoyed that. Um, this one here, um, I found lots of little dragons in this one and little characters and all sorts of things came out. But you know, take your time and enjoy and spend some time just doodling, just fiddling around with it and enjoying um, finding your, your marks within those. So here, um, so this is one of my favourite pieces. Um, I worked for hours and hours and hours on that one. I love the colour. I've got some sparkle in there. I found loads and loads of lines that just wove around and wove in and under. Um, so enjoy, enjoy finding your work.